Hello everybody. This is the lesson for December 18th and since it's a Friday lesson I'm going to give myself a limit of closer to 28 minutes because nobody has to do a Google Meet for attendance today. You all have to just answer the daily attendance question. Okay so make sure you have this sheet ready and here I'm not gonna have warning signs every day but I think this might be the third one in a row. Warning, parts of this video contain male and female nudity, but don't get too excited. All right, so here we go. Before I get to the last section of this sheet, the graphic organizer for the rocks, all we're going to do today is the, the metamorphic rock right here. Before we get to that, I want to show you a wrap-up from yesterday. I put that glass of chocolate milk in my little fridge in the back room in my classroom. And this is what it looks like after 24 hours. The very, very, very finest chocolate stayed up on top. Look at how clear the regular milk, I mean the milk in the glass got. And I've about doubled the amount of chocolate at the bottom. Okay? That's sediment that settled at the bottom. I'll finish that now before I go home. All right, back to this. All right. So we're going to do metamorphic rock today. I only have a few examples for you. Um, it's an important subject, but it's metamorphic is the least common of the rocks. Okay. Most rocks on the planet are igneous. Most of the rocks on the surface of Earth are sedimentary. Did you catch the difference there? Most of the rock on Earth is, is igneous, but most of it is down deep inside like under in the continents and that kind of stuff. Most of the rock on the surface is sedimentary and the other stuff is the metamorphics. All right. Now, the metamorphic rock is rock changed by heat and pressure. Everybody knows rocks are hard. But if you put enough heat and pressure on them, they can get harder. Okay? You know that some rocks are sparkly. If you put enough heat and pressure on them, they can be more sparkly. Okay? You can put, you can, with heat and pressure, you can make rock more durable, more expensive, more attractive, okay? Um, when the time comes for you to buy an expensive chunk of rock for somebody's gravestone, maybe somebody you love or maybe for yourself, people do buy their own gravestones, okay? You'll find out that granite is expensive, but man, wait till you see the metamorphic rock that's made out of granite, it's more expensive. It's cooler looking, it's got swirls and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's harder to find, it's harder to carve. Some people love it because it stands out from all the other gravestones. Anyway, all right. So, the two types of metamorphic rock are foliated metamorphic rock. That means that it has visible layers of crystals. And non-foliated, it has, doesn't have visible layers of crystals, okay? When you change a rock with heat and pressure, you recrystallize it. Now, here comes the nudity part. <gasps> Get ready. The nudity. Here's the most famous statue in the world. The Statue of David. Okay. It's a perfect piece of white marble. You don't see any layers in there because there aren't any. Okay. Now, to be fair, here's a female. One of the most, also a very famous statue. This is the Venus de Milo. Okay. Her arms were on there originally. They're broken off. We found parts of them, but not complete. So they've not reattached. Okay. Another perfect piece of white marble. No layers visible because there aren't any. Okay. Uh, layers would be would make it tougher there'd be weak there would be flaws that you would not know until you were into the carving so the artist chose flawless pure white marble okay now wait till you see what marble's made out of here's chunks of marble notice the the green labeling okay this is just a chunk of bathroom tile okay it's got swirls in it, but no visible layers. Okay, here's another chunk of marble. Okay. Notice the sparkle. You can 
This has got a little bit of polish to it. Okay. You ready to see what this beautiful stone used to be? Ugly old limestone. Seriously. You put enough heat and pressure on this soft, ugly rock that cannot be polished very well, you can turn it into that. Limestone sedimentary rock can be turned into marble, metamorphic rock. All right, so we're going to write that down. Non-foliated. Put a star by it because it's important. Mar marbles are very important. I doubt your year got to go on a field trip that all the, just about every year, I think sixth graders from our league have gotten to go to the state capitol for field trip. Last few years they didn't go because the state capitol is being remodeled and of course nobody went anywhere for anything because of COVID now. The, build, the building is done, the remodel is done. So if you ever get a chance to go to the Minnesota State Capitol, the building is beautiful and the marble is quite, um, quite impressive. If you've ever been over to the Mayo Clinic, it has lots of beautiful, 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 expensive marble of all kinds of colors. Lots of the indoor countertops and tabletops in the Mayo Clinic are beautiful, bright green marble. It's stunning. Anyway, marble is made from limestone okay made from limestone it doesn't have visible layers of crystals in it okay now let me give you another one slate uh, I don't know if you've ever seen what's underneath the felt of a pool table. The expensive, higher quality pool tables are very, very, very heavy pieces of slate, okay? Slate is made from shale. Okay, I'll show you some slate, okay? Remember yesterday, I told you, if you get a piece of shale wet, you'll smell mud. This is shale. Fairly ugly, no sparkle. It's pretty gross. Okay. But if you put enough heat and pressure on it, you get this. Much harder. And it doesn't stink when you get it wet either, by the way. Okay. Um, at least one, if not two churches in Albert Lee have slate roofs. Okay. Um, one downtown and then one of the, what is it, Grace Lutheran? Anyway, the Lutheran church right on Bridge Avenue has a slate roof, okay? Very, very heavy and expensive, but lasts basically forever, okay? Hailstones will not hurt a slate roof as far as I know, okay? Anyway, ugly, fairly soft shale into not as ugly much harder slate. That's what chalkboards were made out of. You probably never really been around chalkboards much. All right. Now, should I, maybe I shouldn't have, phooey. Um, slate has visible layers sometimes. So this one, you can't see the layers. Well, sort of, kind of. Okay, slate can be in both, I guess. So, um, it could be foliated or non-foliated. All right, now, the next one. This is what I was referring to for about very expensive gravestone. It's a funny word it's with a silent G at the beginning, G-N-E-I-S-S. -S. It's pronounced nice. There's a silent G at the front of it. It looks like gunice, but it's nice, okay? It's made from granite. Okay? Now, you're going to see visible layers of crystals. Okay? So picture 
a granite. This is the chunk I've been showing you all, all the time. Okay, it's got black and white and clear and a light pink, you know, a grayish pink. Okay, that's a, a granite that this was actually a crumb left over from when a gravestone was being cut out. Okay, this is a, one of the chunks that was left over. Okay, so now I want you to picture this hard, hard rock made harder by being crunched inside the earth, crushed, and not hot enough to turn to liquid, but hot enough for the atoms in those crystals to move around enough so they could be with their buddies. Then you get this one. This is called nice. Notice the stripes in it, okay? It's got black stripes and white stripes and clear stripes and pink stripes. That tells you this used to be granite, but it's not granite anymore because granite doesn't have stripes. Granite, look, it's, granite is random like that. Nice isn't, okay? Those, those layers of crystals are called foliation, okay? Now, what's kind of funky, I don't know if you think this is cool or not. On this side, you can see the stripes. Depending on which side, you, which angle you look at it, sometimes you wouldn't see this. Like here, if you look, same chunk. If you look from this angle, you don't really, can't really tell it's, it's that stripey. Okay. There's that. Okay. Now, come back over here. I've got one more for you. We're already at 12 minutes. Okay. I've got another example of one without visible layers. Remember, we talked about sandstone being an important sandstone. It's a clastic sedimentary rock. It's made out of pieces of other rock. Sandstone's made out of sand, obviously. Okay. What do you get if you take sandstone and you make it hot enough to recrystallize? You get something called quartzite. made from sandstone. Okay, I'll show you that. So picture a white chunk of sandstone made out of white sand, like underneath St. Paul, like I talked about yesterday. Something like this, okay? You put enough heat and pressure on it, it'll partially melt and it'll be sparklier and that stuff will not come apart, okay? Sandstone comes apart. Quartzite, no, okay? That is much, much harder and prettier, okay? That's quartzite. If you had, here's a different chunk of sandstone. If you had a red sandstone, orangey sandstone, and you put enough heat and pressure on it, imagine this stuff as reddish orange and glassy like that, okay? Where all the individual sand grains have been fused into a solid piece like that. There's no more individual grains in that, okay? This is millions of, of individual grains stuck together. This is no grains left, all fused into one piece. All right, almost 14 minutes. We're half done with our time. All right. All right, I promised you that we would get this thing done. Now, we need to review this, okay? We've only got two days of school left this semester, this quarter, okay? Um, I'm gonna use part of Monday and Tuesday for a quiz and also some other announcements. Um, I want you to make sure you get a chance to see the super rare great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the evening sky. They're at their closest on December 21st when obviously we, uh, it'll be, t I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you, I'd love to be able to have you guys come look at it in a telescope. The last time they were this close was 800 years ago, okay? Um, it doesn't happen again in several lifetimes. Anyway, that's something I'm gonna talk about. Also. 
the winter solstice happens on the 21st. All right. So let's, I'm going to spend the next, I'm at 15 minutes now. I'm going to spend the next few minutes reviewing this. And you're going to need to be able to show me on, um, by email or in Google Meets that you have this thing filled out. Okay. We've spent the week basically on this. You should be able to get points for it if you worked hard enough to get it done. Okay. Big picture. Three kinds of rocks. Okay. Igneous sedimentary metamorphic. Um, you can talk about them in any order, but to me, igneous is more important because it's the majority of the rock in the earth. It's, it's the stuff on the inside of the earth where the magma has cooled off to turn into rock or lava has cooled off to turn into rock. Okay. The two main classes of igneous rock are the rock that's made from magma is called intrusive, as in inside, in, in is your clue, or extrusive. Extrusive is cool on the outside of the earth and made from lava. The difference being intrusive has a longer time to cool off. Extrusive has to cool off fairly quickly because the heat escapes. Okay. Um, the most important rock to me in this whole class is granite. You better know about it. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I have the labels on it? So I guess we'll do that. I don't want to do it now. Okay. Granite is, would be labeled with some of the yellow index cards. Um, all these in igneous rocks, I have labels that are in yellow. Okay. Um, Granite is made out of mica, feldspar, quartz, and hornblende. Okay, this four to six minutes refers to the video where you could see different samples of granite in, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth minutes of that YouTube video. Um, if you have slow cooling, you get large crystals. I also showed you diorite which has that salt and pepper look to it, and gabbro, which is more like pepper and salt. All right. Those were the intrusive rocks. Now, extrusive, igneous, igneous rocks that are extrusive, made from lava. I showed you pumice. That's the one that floats in water. The ugly one that's rhyolite. It looks like pumice, but it doesn't have any holes in it, so it doesn't float. And then basalt, the, extra, the most dense, ugly, boring, this stuff, okay? And it's just super important, but not very pretty, okay? Um, Native Americans would use this stuff. It made for great hammer stones. I mean, they they would make, uh, get the right size piece and attach a handle to it, and you can make a great hammer out of it for shaping things. Um Notice the, there's tiny, tiny, you probably can't see it. I can see them. Tiny crystals in there. Just very, very small. That means it cooled quickly. Okay. Now, if you ever would get to see any video, I think you'll probably see it next quarter when I spend time talking about volcanoes. Wherever a volcano is able to throw blobs, smaller blobs of lava into to cold water, you get obsidian, okay? You saw a video clip of them the other day, when was it, was it Tuesday? Pouring melted lava stone into a bathtub of cold water and it made obsidian right there in front of you. That's glass. There's no crystals in it at all because instant cooling. Instant cooling, glass, no crystals. Tell yourself, no crystals. That's what glass doesn't have crystals in it. Okay. 19 and a half minutes. All right. Now, sedimentary rock. Stuff that settles out of water or milk. Okay. Stuff that settles out of liquids. How's that? Okay. And there was three types. Chemical sedimentary rock, where it's dissolved minerals, or clastic sedimentary rock, pieces of rocks, 
and organic, dead stuff. So minerals that settle out of water, chunks of rock that settle out of water, dead stuff that settles out of water. Okay, the number one most important one is limestone. Okay, it's the number one sedimentary rock. I wanted you to remember that Target Field is made out of it, and the next time you drive by uh, the Albert Lee Medical Center, look at the new round circular entryway where people are able to drop people off underneath the, the roof to keep them out of the weather. That's all Minnesota limestone. Okay, it's made out of dissolved seashells, has lots of calcite in it. I wanted you to remember that limestone is the number one sedimentary rock and sedimentary is the number one type of surface rock. 75% of surface rock is sedimentary. But the key word there is surface. All right. Talking about clastic sedimentary rocks, sandstone made out of sand, conglomerate made out of pebbles, shale made out of mud. Okay, the third type of sedimentary rock is organic. Coal is made out of dead plants, okay? Th these are not the only examples. I just, these are the big ones. Some of them that we have from our rock collection. All right, and the last one, metamorphic. Rocks changed by heat and pressure. Either layered or not layered. Layered is called foliated, non-layered, is called non-foliated. A great example of foliated metamorphic rock is nice. Uh, I had several people take pictures that they thought were rocks with igneous intrusions on them, but they turned out that they're actually nice, okay? And you can tell that because the, the layers were parallel to each other, okay? Remember, you have to do those five photos of igneous intrusions before next Tuesday just because it's a big rock in somebody's yard or in somebody's drive through at a restaurant doesn't mean it's igneous intrusion. You have to look carefully to see if it has another kind of rock cutting through it, okay? That's not a stripe. This isn't just a break. This, has, this is not a colored stripe in the rock. That's a different rock, okay? The green stuff is the rock that was there mining its own business. This white and brown stuff was magma that came in later. These are not the same kind of rock. All right, um, next. I gave you three examples of non-foliated ro uh, metamorphic rocks. Marble, sl that's the one that, uh, let's see, let's write. David, and Venus. Okay, those are the names of the two people. All right, slate is made from shale. Quartzite is made from sandstone. Uh, what else do I need you to know? Okay. One thing that I forgot to, to, you know, we spent, I think, three days on igneous rocks, and then one of the, I forgot a very important thing. So I'm going to write it up here. When talking about the size of crystals, because we're talking about big crystals, tiny crystals, no crystals, this is some important vocabulary. Grains are what you call the, the, the let me show you. You can see gray specks in there and white specks and pink specks. Those are called mineral greens, okay? So all we're gonna write here is coarse grained to fine grained. Okay, write that. So, intrusive rocks are going to be coarse, usually more coarse grained. Extrusive rocks are usually going to be fine grained. Okay, so I'm going to write usually coarse. 
right there. And I'm going to write here, usually fine. Now, can I give you a little secret? When I ask you to show me that you've done this work, I'm not going to read every word. There's no honking way. With 100 students and, what, 150 words on this thing, you think I'm going to read every word? Ha! Ah. But I'll be able to look and see things like, hmm, yeah, they have the two circles there like I asked. Okay? Hmm, they have the box there. My eye's going to be able to catch if you've written the stuff in the right places it looks like you've written the right amount of stuff. If you've got a box empty on this thing, um, why? <laughs> I, have, I have everything covered with at least one example, okay? All right. What else do I need to remind you in the last? I've got like two minutes. I'm not going to use them all, I guess. So make sure you have this thing done. Make sure you get five pictures of five igneous intrusions. Now, this is important. I've got some people that are trapped at home with drivers that cannot get out. They're either sick or their work schedule isn't going to allow it. If you've got a problem where your parents cannot drive you around Albert Lee and you live out in the boonies and you don't have neighbors where you can go, hey, can I look through your flower bed? Okay. You need to let me know ahead of time so we can find an alternative for you for that five photos assignment. Okay. I wanted to give you something that everybody could do, and I'm not trying to be a jerk. If you cannot do it, you have to let me know. You don't, don't just take a zero, okay? All right, I'm going to end this. It's almost 27 minutes.